All right, today we're gonna take a ride through Edisto Beach beachfront campground. I'm really looking forward to doing this. Since two years ago, the beachfront campground was closed due to Hurricane Matthew and the devastation that it caused here. Last year it was closed due to flooding. Uh, so this Thanksgiving, they're actually open and we're gonna take a ride through and see what it looks like. That's site one and it's occupied. I have no idea what this is. I think that must be a walking trail back to the front entrance. They are actually missing a few campsites. I think when they had to redo after the hurricane, they had a couple they just couldn't figure out how to save, so they don't exist anymore. Uh, but site one had the tent in it. This would be site two, which is a pull through. Uh, typical of state parks, it's rather narrow and much better for a back end than a pull through. woods right in front of you. A little hard to open much of a camper up with the trees in the way. site up in here. I don't see a number. So I have no idea what that one is. It was either three or four because this is five. And three or four, one of those doesn't exist anymore. That's five. Nice little pull through. in the bathhouse. Last time I saw the bathhouse, sand was a foot up into the door. I think it's six. The numbers all seem to be on the power panels and you can't see them if they're occupied. So I'm sorry my numbers aren't, aren't very accurate. All right, space eight. So we've lost another campsite number. Space eight is a pull through. Nice long open space. Be space nine that's occupied, but it's got a nice view of the beach from inside. Space ten, another pull through. Space 11, we'll actually go up, space 12. 
we'll actually go through the space instead of around the road. And my only concern would be this old live oak that's kind of taking up a lot of the space. And we'll see what the beach looks like. It's kind of bright is what it looks like. And the park ranger out checking on everybody. Right, this is space 13, which is a back end. Right next to beach access. Which is convenient for getting to the beach, but probably a little noisy. This occupied space. That's 47, so we're we'll come back to that one. Go we'll right on down to the loop. start the loop. Again, it's hard to read numbers because they're all occupied. So we'll just kind of ride through and you'll have to kind of figure out where your space may be when you come down here and when you start looking at maps. This one is empty so we can pull in. This would be space 38. A little bit of a drop off out of your door down to your picnic area. Straight across is 33. That's 39 with the airstream in it. And 40 over here with the Class C. And then we have the handicap access to the beach. Alright, and then we pick up 16. The airstream is in 19 and the empty spot is 20. You can't see the beach anymore from here, but you're certainly out in the open with a breeze. side so I couldn't see it. Uh, that is a pull through and they have chosen to pull through backwards or back in. Right, and then we get to these. Let's see, 26 is the second one. The first one is 24. And then we've got 26. And apparently we have lots of turtles, so they've barricaded stuff off. There is no 27. That's 28. Okay, and we have 23 on the inner loop. And that's 30. 
and 32 up here at the open range. numbers are hard to read. They're not turning the right direction. Now there's 35 with the fifth wheel. And 27 with the Class A. And that one is 36. A nice big spot. 40 two with this fifth wheel. Beautiful view of the marsh. No idea what the numbers are. I'm sorry, it's hard to tell where you are when you don't have nothing, when you can't see the numbers, but that's 46. We have a handicapped spot here that looks like a 43. And that would be 48. And this handicapped spot is 45, and it's empty, and we'll actually pull in. And it is a nice paved walk all the way to the bathhouse. And this one's empty, so we'll pull in. Good morning. All right, this is space 50. That's a little bit of a view of the marsh. And that is space 52. C is in space 56. A little bit of a view from of the marsh, but not from inside your camper. And 58 is open, so we'll pull in. From outside sitting around a campfire, it's a nice view of the marsh. From inside a camper, it's not much of a view. And this is space 60. And the fifth wheel is in 62. Pop-up is in 63. We have a pull-through number 65 that's uh, empty right now. And this camper is 66. Sixty-seven. Right, Sixty-eight's open, so we can pull in. Just enough access to the marsh to get all muddy. 
kids can go stomp in the mud a little bit. But lots of open space around your campsite. Now that's space 70 with the bicycle in it, and 70B with the fifth wheel. campground host. Oh my. And that's 72. Nice private outdoor area. And this is a nice private campsite. 74. This feels more like you're in the oaks than at the beachfront. Uh, the beachfront campground is much more open than the oaks. A lot of breeze. Your neighbors feel like they're a whole lot closer to you. But you have nice access to the beach and much better views. So uh, that was a quick trip through the beachfront campground. I hope you enjoyed it.